We're really excited about the place of End of Nations in the RTS pantheon. At its core, End of Nation plays like an RTS, what players would expect. The strategies, the tactics, the unit control, the abilities, but we've also added an additional layer to the game, which is the MMO component. In an MMO RTS, it becomes a highly social experience, cooperating with other people and have an impact on the game world that other players can see and appreciate. For the first time, I actually have an experience that is persistent. It's online. I can customize my forces. I can modify those forces. I grow in power as a player. I log in. There are my units. There's all the cool things that I've done for the day. I can plan out what I'm going to do, the battlefields that I want to fight on, and know that at the end of these battles, I'm going to walk away with some cool stuff. So the game begins around an economic meltdown that happens worldwide. Governments are failing, economies are collapsing. And from this chaos rises this group called the Order of Nations. You play a revolutionary that's fighting against this totalitarian regime. And you look at them as some sort of blend between the United Nations and the, the military-industrial complex. They have some of the highest technology that you can find, and they also have some of the biggest bosses in the game. And then there's also a revolutionary PvP mode, a Conquer the World metagame. This idea of playing alongside and against thousands of other players for actual territory control. You have to ask yourself what it would be like to form a coalition of literally a thousand players. And how would it feel to secure the resources of an entire continent? All of this, all done in real time, online, not done at the single player level. This is something that we uh, feel is truly unique, different, and it's fun to play. End of Nations will have the quality you have come to expect from Tryon. Working with Petroglyph, where we have some of the people that have just such a deep history in the RTS genre, and whether it's the amount of polish that players will experience playing a map or the artistic presentation, we feel that we're delivering something absolutely top of the line. This means it has to be fun, beautiful, challenging, and reward a skilled player. I feel like we're really building something new and innovative and not just resting on all the same gameplay mechanics that people have seen time and time again.